It's basically if you think of it like having a fire extinguisher in your house, you hope you don't need it, but in the event that you do, you wanna make sure that it works. The mayor is the uh, major accident response exercise. Uh, it's something that we do annually by AFI uh, that each wing has to do and is to practice uh, if there was an aircraft mishap, how are we going to respond, who's going to be talking to who, practice checklist procedures and things like that. We're going to have to be adaptable in, in, in anything that we do because it could be happen at Moody, it could happen off Moody, it could be you know, the A-10, it could be C-130, it could be anything. So they kind of have to be ready for anything, but we just kind of at least plan a scenario that they can practice to. And we try to do it in a uh, risk-based sampling strategy to kind of figure out what is the most likely thing to happen so they can kind of practice to that. Yeah, so who's going to respond would typically be uh, command post is probably going to get a phone call from somebody. And then um, obviously our first responders. So our medics, our fire department and things like that. We're gonna have to have security forces go out there and you know, do uh, site security, make sure no one's coming in taking pieces off or looking around. And then obviously public affairs has a piece of it too to get the right message out. And then following that would be obviously the safety officer will go out and, uh, and do that kind of thing. Uh, these exercises are really important because uh, luckily we don't really have that many major accidents, which obviously is a good thing, but when they do happen uh, from time to time, we want to make sure that we are prepared for them. So this is a way uh, to work out some interagency communications and make sure that everything uh, is kind of on the up and up. So like I said, if something does happen, we are ready for it. I'd say the biggest thing for exposure to these scenarios, it's going to save lives on that initial response uh, because it is not easy, especially with the terrain around Georgia. There's a lot of forested areas, a lot of uh, really unpopulated regions around the, the Air Force Base. And so, you know, for example, if an A-10 pilot ejects in the middle of middle of nowhere, um, then it's going to take a while for, to find that person and to treat their injuries. And so the reason this saves lives is it allows that communication flow and the cooperation between the base agencies and the off-base agencies to work seamlessly together uh, so that they can respond to the incident uh, in an appropriate manner and in a timely manner.